Hi guys! Thanks for joining me today for returning subscribers and viewers. Welcome back and I hope you're all doing okay. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome and thanks for dropping by. My name is Jane and I love fragrances. And in this channel, I do review new fragrance releases. I do top 10s, range reviews, basically anything and everything about fragrances. If that's something you're interested in, please click on the subscribe button below to see similar content in the future. So I recently did my top 10 summer fruity perfume recommendations and so today we are doing the florals. Floral fragrances, depending on how they are made, are a year-round wear. For summer florals, we can expect the addition of citruses and fruits, or sometimes they're combined with watery florals like lotus flower to keep them from being too heady and dense as sometimes some florals can be. They are also made to smell watery and transparent to cut through the humidity and heat. I have here 11 fragrances to share with you all and these are the fragrances I've consistently worn from February to May, the warmest months of the year here in the Philippines. Although our summer is officially over, a lot of you out there may just be welcoming more sunny, warmer days. I hope these recommendations can help you through the height of summer. These come in no particular order. I have them in different concentrations. I have body mist, or the toilettes, uh, cologne concentrates, or the parfums. Two bottles are niche. Most of these are designer fragrances, a combination of luxury designer and more affordable designer brands are included here. I also tried my best to represent different floral categories. I have roses and punies in here, yellow and white florals as well. So I think there is something for everyone. And so, without further ado, let's go over them one by one. Kicking off with the rose fragrances in this list, this first fragrance is from Maison Christian Dior and this is called La Col Noir. This is your spicy summer rose oud combination. So when you look at the notes, you'd think oud for summer, spice for summer, but you guys, this works really well even in high heat. See how the color of the juice is light and transparent. That's how wearable this perfume is for warmer weather. Top note on this is lemon. The middle has may rose and spices, peony, lily of the valley, black currant, raspberry, and peach. The base has white mask, sandalwood, amber, heliotrope, and agarwood or wood. So uh, this is an interesting and complex scent, not your run-of-the-mill fresh rose. So this has some depth. This is very classy smelling yet warm weather appropriate. The rose in here is front and center. Made more interesting by other accompanying notes. The wood is very friendly here. I actually don't get much of it in here. The spice is very present but provides that interesting warmth and contrast from the florals and the fruits. So you can overspray this and won't sneeze from the spices or be turned off by any animalic wood. This is a summer branch out kind of scent but can also dress this one up for a summer special occasion, be it a daytime one or a nighttime one. This one will do very, very well. Definitely a year round wear for us here in the tropics. Um, uh, I really like this perfume. This is full bottle worthy in my opinion. I have here a small, I think I believe this is a 4 7ml sample. I don't know but I really do plan to get a bigger bottle once I run out of this. So this lasts on me about 5 to 6 hours. I overspray of course. So this is an O the perfume. Uh, projection is soft, moderate at best. If you like spicy rosewood scent for summer, this is La Col Noir from Maison Christian Dior. Do check this one out. Another lovely summer fruity rose scent is this one from Carolina Herrera. And this is a very good girl. This is a 2021 release, the youngest stiletto. So this is a fruity, less dense, less incense Delina smell alike if you're familiar with Delina. Top notes on this are lychee and red currant. The middle has rose and lily. The base has bourbon, vanilla, and vetiver. So this one I've worn a lot in February. Back when this fragrance first came out, I don't think you can see the 
tent from the camera but this has scanned down on me pretty pretty quickly so I initially did not like the opening on this but after wearing this a couple of times more it started smelling fruitier rather than synthetic I did mention this in my dedicated review I will leave links so, to where you can catch that so this never fails to garner compliments every single time I've worn this somebody would compliment that I smell great so um, overspray this and it will last you the whole day this comes in Eau de Parfum concentration um, you can wear this casually or for a special occasion like for example a summer wedding this will do great this is very different from the older sisters the very good girl very good girl Leger and supreme those are white floral perfumes this one is a beautiful fruity rose scent check this one out for a fun summer fruity rose scent with a bit of a sexy edge so this one is very good girl by carolina herrera a fresher take on your classic coco mademoiselle is this one called coco mademoiselle low broom de parfum light fragrance mist this is your orange rose patchouli fragrance a fresher brighter version of the original Eau de Parfum. This one was made for the high heat. And in this canister is also a portable version you can bring around with you everywhere. This maintains that classy, chic Mademoiselle DNA minus the pungent opening. Someone in Fragrantica actually described this version as a bright watercolor version of the original Eau de Parfum, not a pastel version. And I couldn't agree more. The elements of the original Eau de Parfum Coco Mademoiselle are all in here, just toned down a little bit. So longevity is about three to four hours tops when sprayed on clothing, shorter when worn in high heat. Definitely worth a try if you've been a fan of Coco Mademoiselle but couldn't wear it during the hottest months because it is simply too much for the heat. This version might just surprise you. So this is Coco Mademoiselle Low Light Fragrance Mist. From roses, we go to jasmine. What I have here is the Oude Toilette version of Priyanka Chopra's uh, signature scent. And this is Donna by Drusardi Oude Toilette. So if you're interested to see or know the differences between the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Brooke Sosa, a fragrance YouTuber, did a review comparison of the EDT versus the EDP about a month ago. I will leave a link to her video in the description box below, just in case anyone's interested. So, I have the Eau de Toilette because the Eau de Parfum pulled a little more intolic jasmine on my skin, especially in this weather, but they do smell super similar in the dry down. For this one, the EDT, we have notes of Yudsu Melon and citron on top jasmine tea orange blossom and lotus in the middle the base is vanilla sandalwood cedar and patchouli this has a bright citrusy opening giving way to a light refreshing jasmine tea scent that's sweetened by the vanilla in the base this gets creamier thicker as this dries down longevity is about two to three hours even when oversprayed you definitely need to bring a decant with you to respray during the day this is a pretty old fragrance and it's almost always discounted nowadays i got mine for free from the purchase of a bottle of delicate rose a while back uh, from also from the same brand so for a refreshing jasmine tea scent you might want to get your nose on to this one donna by Trussardi Eau de Toilette. So if you're craving for a clean jasmine scent for the sweltering heat, then Dior Pure Poison, this one, might just be for you. Top notes in this are jasmine, orange, bergamot, and Sicilian mandarin. The middle has gardenia and orange blossom. The base is sandalwood, white amber, cedar, and white mask. This is a very long-lasting fragrance and a big, big compliment getter, especially from men. This bottle was actually a gift from my, a gift from my husband. This is new and then sprayed because I still have my decant to go through. This is pretty potent and long-lasting. It will take you ages to finish a decant. So the way my husband describes this was in a room full of people, when a person wearing this comes inside a room, he will stop whatever he's doing to look for the person wearing this. The simplicity of this scent will stand out among the hodgepodge of scents, according to him. So if that doesn't convince you to get this, I don't know what will. So this is my favorite poison apple from the poison line. So this is truly a soapy laundry detergent compliment getting addictive fragrance. If you need a clean jasmine scent for summer, 
do check this one out, Pure Poison from Mason from Dior. From Jasmine, we go to Peonies. So peonies are said to have aromatherapeutic properties. So I love peonies and peony in fragrances is my jam. In fact, before I started collecting fragrances, 90% of my perfumes have peonies in them. So it makes perfect sense that this one lands a spot in my small collection. Top notes in this are nashi pear, bergamot, and pink pepper. In the middle has peony, of course, freesia, and Bulgarian rose. The base has yellow plum nectar honey amber and patchouli this fragrance is non-complex fresh and uplifting i've put quite a dent on this bottle because this was such an easy reach for me during the warmer months i just love how the fruits balances out the florals in here giving this that playful youthful vibe i just wish this lasted longer because even when overspray this stays on under three hours on me well this is a nude de toilette so longevity isn't really going to be great so i sometimes use this to layer but this is lovely by itself if you want a bright uncomplicated floral fruity uplifting scent to cut the heat this is dolce peony by dolce and gabbana Elizabeth Arden's green tea line has a lot of fresh floral flankers, but I particularly like this one for summer. And this is green tea cherry blossom. So I have the fragrance in the fragrance mist formulation over here. This is yet another uncomplicated fresh floral scent centering, of course, on uh, cherry blossoms plus uh, green tea so this is a very fresh citrusy opening with lemon bergamot tangerine petit grain and green tea on top cherry blossom peony plum and apricot are in the middle and oak moss woody notes musk are in the base so this is very much similar to those cholche peony this one is bright citrusy floral very very refreshing great to reapply during the day to top up on some floral freshness great for high heat plus this one this one is really really affordable for some green tea cherry blossom kick check this one out from elizabeth arden and this is green tea cherry blossom next up is this lily of the valley scent from mason christian dior and this is called lucky this one smells <laughs> like a good person if good has a smell this would be it this is what a good person would smell like you know how some scents can smell like a snob or an unapproachable person this one smells the opposite of that so this is three notes listed lily of the valley white florals and ozonic notes and smells exactly that this is very simple and linear but something there's something about this that will draw you in maybe it is the simplicity of it all so this is a very clean smelling transparent inoffensive floral fragrance lasts a long time on me this can be a casual wear scent but can also be dressed up for say a wedding or an intimate event this projects at least moderately and leaves a very nice scent trail in the air if you'd like to have a good rest from all the sweet vanilla scent you've been wearing during the colder season and would like something clean and fresh but not at all citrusy check this one out this is lucky from mason christian dior another ultra clean smelling floral is neroli i personally prefer neroli for high heat more than orange blossom just because neroli is cleaner and greener and a lot less sweet and a very affordable option for a neroli fragrance is from clinique and this is blue sky neroli this is a new bottle of mine my old one just ran out so this is your perfect clean out of the shower scent very true to its name this smells like a day when the sun is out and the sky is blue and it's fun to go out and enjoy the day again another approachable scent nothing offensive here great for casual white tea and jeans kind of day this keeps you smelling fresh all day in high heat and also on occasions when you are sweating a lot like maybe the gym or something so this is a very affordable option if you like neroli portofino and similar clean smelling scent um, this is clinique blue sky neroli one of the two uh, niche fragrance recommendations i have in the list is this one 
from M. Mikalev called Ilang in Gold. So this has fresh fruity notes and spices on top. Ilang Ilang, sandalwood, mint, rose, lily of the valley in the middle. The base has vanilla, coconut, musk, and oak moss. So this to me is a floral gourmand. This isn't a freshie and by no means would I wear this in high heat. But this is a warm weather perfume. Can be worn on summer nights or special occasions during the season. The ilang ilang in here flourishes and blooms in the warmth of the sun. And the other notes exist to complement it. The vanilla here is simply put divine. This is so delicious and inviting. I don't get much coconut and I'm so so happy that that this does not go in that direction on my skin um, this gets woodier towards the dry down so I sometimes layer this with a vanilla perfume and yes this layers beautifully with the vanilla scent this is a must-have in my honest opinion for everyone out there but I suggest you sample this on skin this isn't a safe blind buy this is Ilang in Gold by Martin Mikalev I got mine direct from their website as they do ship worldwide Last but certainly not the least is this new offering from Jo Malone from their 2021 Blossoms collection called a Red Hibiscus. So this is your salty floral vanilla summer scent. I have a dedicated review on this fragrance. I will leave a link to where you can watch that if anyone is interested to know to get to know this fragrance better. So um, uh, long and short, if you love Olympia by Paco Rabanne, this is its summer high heat sibling. If you like Magic Salty Flower by Victor and Rolf, this is its fraternal twin. A different take on a summer floral perfume. Check this one out if you are tired of the usual coconut, clean citrus, or fruity summer offering. This lasts like an eau de toilette, or sorry, this lasts like an eau de parfum. To me, around five to six hours. Projection is loud on initial spray. This will definitely fill the room, but dies down after about two hours. This is also a big compliment getter. Can be worn on summer date nights and for holidays by the beach. Definitely a warm weather fragrance. So this is Red Hibiscus by Joe Malone. So that's it for today guys. My 11 summer floral recommendations for you. I hope you found something up your alley. Leave me a comment down below what your summer floral perfume lineup is or was for this year and thank you so much for watching you guys if you like this video please don't forget to like and share please consider subscribing if you haven't done so to see similar content in the future let's all stay safe and let's spread the fragrance love bye